Hello, Station Theater, Hairspray Cast. This is your music director, Adam Patrick Moore, with number two, the nicest kids in town. Opening up, we have four measures. Basically, the drums are keeping the beat. Uh, and in the fourth measure on beat two, you'll hear a little piano bliss. And then we are in measure one. You have some ooze going on. Here they are. One, two, three, four, one. flat one two three four one staying on the E flat tenors starting on the G and going to the A one two three four one the altos starting on the B flat going to the C one two three four one Everybody together, baritones and sopranos, tenors, altos, one, two, three, four, one. Then we have the bop, bebop, ba 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 Cool. Thankfully, this is a very repetitive little riff that carries throughout this number. Um, here, the baritones and sopranos are fluctuating with the C and the B natural. One, two, three, four. The tenors are on the E flat and rotating with the D. One, two, three, four. And the altos are on the money note of that chord, flat at seventh, which makes it a little bit jazzy. Here's the altos. One, two, three, four, one. Everybody together. Baritones and sopranos on the C. Tenors, E flat, altos, D flat. One, two, three, four. Same thing at uh, 15, 16. Let's carry over to after the vamp. Looking at 92. For a little moment here, we almost go into a relative minor chord, that being F sharp minor. The baritones and sopranos have the A. One, two, three, four. The tenors have the C sharp. One, two, three, four. The altos have the F sharp. One, two, three, four. So together, baritones and sopranos on the A, tenors on the C sharp, altos on the F sharp. One, two, three, four. Um, carrying on in the piece. At 125, immediately when we're finished with the vamp, all you basically have is one. And then you have to come in with your chord there. Um, don't feel bad because Corny Collins only has two and a half beats of before he has to come in with his part. Um, now, Corny at 125 has an F sharp. That F sharp, uh, he 
carries on with into 126. Tenors, this makes your job a little bit easier because at 126, the note that you hit is an F sharp. And you're sliding down to an E. So tenors, this is basically what you're going to get. One. <laughs> Altos, you, my friends, have the A natural, which again is the money note, pardon the pun. Um, and you'll be sliding down to the G sharp. Okay, let's try that. One. Baritones and sopranos, you guys are doubling on the D sharp, which is the third in B, which is the chord that you're going to get at 126. So let's do you guys one. By the way, baritones and sopranos, you guys have the money note, the flatted seventh, and measure 127. So be listening for that. Let's try everybody. Uh, tenors, you're on the F sharp that Corny Collins has shortly before you come in. And I do mean shortly, a beat and a half. Uh, altos, you have the A and baritones and sopranos, the D sharp. Tenors, and here's the altos. One. Okay. Then at 1.30, Baritones, you sustain that E all the way to the end of measure 131. Tenors, you hit the G sharp on beat 3 of measure 130 and sustain that G sharp to the end of 131. Altos, you hit the B on the downbeat of 131 and sustain that to the end of 131. And Sopranos, you will hit the D on beat 3 of 131 and carry that to the end of 131. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Again at 130, 1, 2, 3, 4. So right back into that money, money. Uh, at 140, uh, you go back to the ooze. Then you have 10 quacks or clucks or whatever random onomatopoeia you guys go with. And then you have kids in town, hoot. All right, I think we're good to go. So go on to the practice track for the nicest kids in town on the same site.